in the same vein as that question actually is moving on to public health protection like disease isn't that a responsibility of the government no no not, not the responsibility the spread of, the of disease like aids for example all the, you've certainly not it is only the responsibility of a government to step into the field of disease if someone is actually radiating out you know germs or whatever from his body that become physical threats to other beings because that comes under this under the sphere that you cannot do anything physical to another person so if you have a disease that is highly contagious you are not allowed validly to walk around with that disease and the government can properly see that you're quarantined for on exactly the same grounds that you couldn't go around spraying bullets at people uh, in that sense the government has a right to see that people are not messed with, even if it's involuntary and you have a disease. But they don't have any right or any ability to cure diseases. That has to be up to private medicine. The same about learning about them? Learning, absolutely. There's no government yeah, research. No government no, research. research. Absolute zero. And if you want research to accomplish something, rather than have endless volume after volume of junk written to acquire a list of publications so you can go higher in the bureaucracy and get more research funds for more, etc. All of it thrown down the drain, that's just what government research is. It's pressure group warfare. And really independent and innovative ideas are squelched out of it. That's one of the reasons age is taking so long. It's a very tricky and complicated disease, but the fact that the government has poured its money and its power into that is what's making it, you know, a typical post office bureaucratic uh, uh, empire. The solution is not to get government into things, but get them out. That's the only way you're going to have uh, success.